We got so carried away with Dustin Clover turning the kickoff, we forgot it was the end of the quarter. Here's a uh, handoff up Austin the middle. Martin. Austin Martin, Blake Woodard. Nice run. Now playing quarterback. He does a lot of quarterbacking for the junior varsity, I think for the freshman sophomore team. Austin Martin, he got, got some good yardage. Started at the 34. We got Tommy Watson out there now. We've got uh, Tanner Robinson, uh, 87. We've got Josh Knight, 5'7", 140 pound sophomore. Who else we've got out here? We've yeah. got uh, Zach Bates over here on the near side. Here's Woodard handing off to Martin up the middle. He's trying to get some running room. Jackson Mooney in there, number 76. Number 60. Philip Havener. Philip Havener. I give that young man guitar lessons. <laughs> yeah, we got some JV guys in there now. See how they do. 12 yards, 12 yard line, a six yard carry for Martin. I think Tuscola's JV team actually has a pretty good record this year. Yeah, they've maybe got a couple losses. Yeah, I think so. Oh, hand off right up the that middle and no anywhere. gain. Martin got the ball handed off to him and he had says, no room. He says, thanks a lot, guys. Yeah. You got whistles coming in from the side. We got have a big, big 79 coming in, Dakota Day. Offensive line, 5'9", 270 pounds. <laughs> so, junior? Soft, uh, uh, junior. Junior. Big boy. Yeah. That's good. See them guys get in there and get yep. to pop the pads a little bit. They're talking things over with personal foul against both teams, so they'll offset. And the ball is going to be marked, well, a loss. Back to the 19, I'm going to say. We'll call the loss of seven. Going to be third down and 11, I think. Nine and a half minutes to go in the football game. Tuscola. Scoreboard shows third and four, but I don't think that can be right. No, because the uh, down marker's just I outside. That's what, yeah, I think yeah. that's what it was before. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was before. So, let's see, who else we got? We'll try to get some All of right, these. All right, we got 33 back there in the backfield on this play. Silva. Yeah, Silva and Martin. Woodard hands off to Silva. Takes it over the right side, and he's going to be pushed back. And I don't think he got much on the play. Let's see where they mark it. No, he 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 pretty much ran into a closed-up hole there. Got to get them big boys in that line doing some blocking. Yeah, gain of about a yard, I guess, maybe two. Looks like it's going to be fourth down and eight. So a gain of three for Silva. I tell you, they got these officials are going all over the field, back and forth from side to side with every little thing that's, at least the clock's running. <laughs> that's all I've got to say, at least the clock is running. Yeah. So the ball at the 17 or thereabouts. Here's Martin going wide to the left and he's yeah. gonna be dropped for a loss. He just stopped running on that play. Yeah. So it's going to be first and 10 for Meridian. We're going to say 20 yard line. Uh, I guess 21. Maybe a four yard loss on the play. No? Turn the ball over on downs. Oh, okay. De Tuscola just barely well, getting yeah, their defense. Well, yeah, their, their defense was just running out onto the field. And let's see. Did we get a timeout called? Yeah, Tuscola called a timeout. I'm sure that'll be popular. So timeout with 7.29 left in the football game. Tuscola leading 59-12. to 12. Next week, next Friday night, Jerry Girardi and I will be at Villa Grove. 
for the Blue Devils final game of the season. They are playoff eligible with uh, six victories coming into tonight's game. They'll be hosting East Central. Maybe another uh, game similar to this one. Yeah, how's the Pierce boy doing in, in the area standings as far as rushing? Is he? I think he's still on top, but he got, he was hurt last week. Was he? He uh, he took ran the ball to the outside and kind of got uh, somebody rolled him. Rolled him. And he just kind of twisted his out knee of, up a little bit. Yeah, I couldn't tell. It was over on the far side of the field. I couldn't really tell. But early uh, or late in the game? It was late. The game so, was so they got him out of there. And, yeah. So well, and, hopefully it's not very serious. And they're playing Tri County tonight. They play East Central next week. So, I mean, they could play the next two games without him. And, yeah give him a chance. Here's a pass on first down from the 20 yard line. Quick pass to number six, Matt Tremble, and he was swarmed up by some host of Warrior defenders. Call it the 26. Gain of six on the play. Number 29, Tuscola Warrior out there I haven't seen. Cameron McCrory, six foot one, 40 pound sophomores in there. There's a defensive uh, outside linebacker. Here's Collins. See if we can get some other new numbers. Oh, just about broken up there by Josh Knight. Number 35, Nick Henderson. Nick Henderson. 5'9", 160 pound sophomore is in there on defense. Collins, 17 of 31. Got Philip Havner, number 60, playing defensive tackle. Looks like Jackson Mooney's going both ways now. Number 61, no, that's Dakota Hale. He's actually going both ways now, offense and defense. Yep. Uh, Steven Gibson in the linebacker spot. Griffin Day. Yep. Collins throws down. Oh, he got a Griffin Day. Drink Griffin Day at the 40-yard line. Oh, he broke it back the other way. There you go. Good job. Good he job. Headline in the Tuscola Journal next week, Griffin Day's interception <laughs> saves the game. <laughs> Yeah, his dad, uh, Scotty Day, played out here on the 82 team and was a very good football player and now writes for the Tuscola Journal, does the high school uh, football coverage. And he's over there. Uh, I can see him now standing there. He's standing there. He's got his arms going. He's, he's, he's showing where his son should have ran to. Is what he's doing. <laughs> it's got to make him happy. First and 10 for the Warriors. Good Ball at the 23. Yeah, I've been there before. I know all about that. Oh, yeah, me so. too. <laughs> good, good for both of them. Yes, sir. <laughs> what are the quarterback? Uh, now we've got a flag. Let's see. Too many guys on the line. Not enough in the, One, I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. You got Dakota Day. Somebody you got Steven Gibson. So you got one of the outside guys had to be, yeah. had to get up on the line. I don't know if he did. Jackson Mooney, Eric Phillips. Dakota Hale. That was an illegal procedure. Somebody moved up there. Yeah. Oh. No. That's the eighth penalty for 85 yards for Tuscola. I'm sure Rick Reinhardt not happy with that, but given the grand scheme of things tonight, I'm sure he's. Uh, See, we got uh, Dakota Days out there. We got Stephen Gibson's out there. Jackson Mooney. Here's uh, Woodard. Oh, Woodard took a hit there. He wanted to uh, to pitch the ball, but decided to keep it then cut up field. And he is going to be thrown for probably a loss on the play. Got to mark the ball. Let's see, 34-yard line. Come on, young guys. Let's see you do something here. So it's going to be second and 21. 355 left in the game. Here's Martin getting the handoff. Oh, he's good. Going he's to the a, right he's side. Got he's got running room. He's nice inside the down around the 10 yard line. Yeah, picked up about an extra five yards off the end of that carry by cutting it upfield. Did a good job. Nice hole opened up over there on the outside by the offensive line. Got to be first and first down. First and uh, yep. sticks are still up. Looks like they could still get a. Yeah. So that was a 
24 yard carry by Austin Martin. Probably a foot away from being first and goal. Yeah. Here is number 80, Zach four. Bates. Or is that 84, Zach Bates? Nope. Keegan Kibler, a freshman. Oh, that's, yeah. Zach, I think we may have had a flag or something. Zach Bates, 83. Right. Keegan Kibler. Personal foul. Personal foul against Meridian. Yeah. Must have got a hold of the face mask. Oh, there was horse collar or something going on. Stomping on his finger, something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. I won't tell you what I used to do in pile-ups <laughs> when I played football. <laughs> so they moved the ball about half the distance. Yeah, I was one of those guys that known to do some ornery things in a pile-up. Gonna be first and goal at the five. 210 left to go in the football game. Two guys wide to the left side. Knight and two guys wide to the right. Or to the left, I mean. Quarterback. Was that a quarterback keeper? I have no idea. <laughs> Looks like Woodard had it. He's gonna be. Yeah, he just took he just, I mean, that was a quick snap, and he just took off and uh was met there by the uh, Meridian linebacker and stopped him short of the goal. It's got to be, what, on the three? I think, Ball yeah, on that's the three. what it is. Second and goal from the three. Clock running, a minute and a half to go. As you can imagine, there's a lot of confusion. <laughs> yeah, Woodard's running back over to the sideline and getting the play. Number 18, Zeke Bricky, a freshman. He's still in there with uh, Zach Martin, Austin Martin, uh, or Austin Martin as his tailback. They hand it off to him, right side, and off let's tackle. see. Warriors say touchdown. The officials say not I so don't much. Think so. I think he's got just a little short. Yeah, he got a couple, so it's going to be third down. Austin Martin on the carry. Less than a minute to go. We're going to say it's at the one. Dakota Hell comes out. We got a, a Michael Poole, 5'8", 170 pound freshman in there on the right side tackle. Okay. Checked in for Brandon Stewart, uh, flanked out to the left. We got a whistle and a flag. What are the Tusco players doing on the field? I don't know. Well, we got 17 seconds left. Oh, there we go. That's what they're doing. They're just gonna let the they're just gonna let the clock run out. Yeah. Okay. I'm <laughs> like, what is going on here? Yep. And that's gonna end it. That's the Tuscola Warriors win it 59 to 12 over Meridian and it's on to Argenta next week uh, to continue their drive for the playoffs. Mark, this is our last regular season game together. Hopefully we have a playoff game or two. It's but been if, fun. If but if didn't. not, it's been fun. You bet. <laughs> Hope we do. So uh, next week from Villa Grove, uh, Villa Grove and East Central on the DouglasCountyDigest.com High School Game of the Week. Next week as they close their season. Well, good luck.